In this tutorial, we will add the C-sharp code to select a game object at the one time on mouse click. In the Unity editor, open the select script file from the previous tutorial. We will start by checking if the user presses the mouse left click using the input class. Also, in previous tutorials, we enabled the user to orbit the camera in the scene using the mouse while holding the shift key. So, we will only allow the selection if the left or the right shift keys are not pressed, because this is the time when the user moves the camera and does not intend to select a model. We also want to make sure that the mouse or the pointer is on a game object and not on a UI element. It is safe to assume that a game object will be highlighted before it is selected, because the pointer will be over the game object. Otherwise, if an object is already selected, then clicking the left mouse again will deselect the object. In the case of deselection, we assign the object's original material that it has before the selection back to it, and the object will be deselected. We also reset the selection transform object by assigning it to a null value. Okay, if an object is selected, and a user clicks the left mouse click, we will reset the currently selected object by assigning its original material back to it. Then we get the selection transform object from the new raycast hit resulted from the left mouse click. And then, similar to what we did in the highlight part, we check if the material of the newly selected object is not the selection material we store the object's original material in a variable and temporarily assign the selection material to it to show it is selected. And we reset the highlight transform by assigning the null value to it. That's it for the code. Let's save the file and go back to the Unity editor. Select the scripts game object that our select code is attached to. Open the material folder and drag the magenta and magenta light materials to their spots as materials for the highlight and the selection. Save the project and let's click the play button to test the app. Click open file and select an OBJ file to load its 3D model. Hover over the loaded model to check if it gets highlighted. Use the left mouse click to select the model. Click again to deselect the model. Great, it works. In these tutorials, we learn how to highlight and select a model or a game object at the runtime in Unity.